uh, Marty Schwartz here. Going to rock out with you with one of the most iconic riffs of all time. Uh, basically launching heavy metal music into the stratosphere, or at least one of them. So we'll zoom in. I'm going to break down all this stuff for you. Uh, real quick, I would really appreciate you subscribing to this YouTube channel of mine. I got so many cool things planned, and I can't wait to share them all with you guys. Thank you so much. And, uh, you know, like the video, leave comments with your requests, all that stuff. Enough of that. Let's zoom in. Break this one down. Here we go. All right, so obviously it's kind of like a, you know, heavily... Heavy song with distortion or overdrive. Um, so there, there are going to be parts where I kind of turn it down just so you can hear it and it's not overblowing the camera and everything. But I think you know that. So let's start with the opening. The cool little lick, it's just playing the open E string. But what you're doing is you're taking behind the nut on the E string. If you press down really hard, it bends the string up. So it starts with that pressed hard down. Listen to it. And then when I relax it, it comes down. I am, I am then, so that's that first part, then we go into this part. And so what I'm doing is I'm playing a power chord, a B power chord, which is the second fret on the A and fourth fret on the D. Then I strum it up to the fifth fret and I'm sliding the chord up to the fifth. Then I slide it up to the seventh. So two, five, five, seven, seven. Then 10 and 9, power chord. So that's the 10th, that's the 12th. And I slide it back a half step. And I do that three times. After the third time, I slide it down to the 5th fret and then back up to the 7th. So then when the singing starts, it plays that same line, but single note. So with one finger. And then between the 10 and the nine, middle finger and index, I'm just pulling off while I hold that nine down. Five, five, seven, seven. That's what we have so far. I'm going to crank this up a bit. So we've got that opening thing where we tug down on the E string behind the nut. You got to tug pretty hard on it. You can't see my face, but I'm uh, making my muscle face. Then you've got the power chord riff. Just to let you know, the tip of my index finger is muting the low E string as I play the power chords with the root on the A string. Just the tip of it is just touching that E string so it doesn't ring out, as opposed to this. I'm not doing that. 
I'm muting that. <laughs> Then you got the single note. the next section and I'm going to use my ring finger on the seventh fret of the E which is the same B note by the way as this one here so that means you could or they're going to be the same thing but so for this next riff I think it's easiest to play it right here with the ring finger on the seventh of the E bah, bah. Then five on the A, bah, then back to seven on the E, bah, six, five, five, five. So, da, 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 da. section it plays an E power chord which is going to be seventh on the A string ninth on the D and you let it ring out then you go a whole step down and then you have a cool bluesy kind of lick So that lick is two times on that root, which is the seventh of the E, duh, duh, and then a third time, but then tenth. Then seven on the A. Then you hit that note again and go seven, eight, nine. And then you do that same thing on the D string, seven, eight, nine. Da, 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 ba, da, 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 Thank you. 
And so then eventually, later on, it, it tags up. Or there's a little new section, which has gone up a whole step. So now it's in C sharp. And it starts on the root on the D string, which would be the 11th fret. 11, 9, 11, 10, 9. Then 12 on the low E. Then right there, 9 on the low E. Again. Then a whole step down to 7. Back up to The 12 of the E is also 7 of the A. So you can kind of choose the exact same note, exact same sound. Everything about it's the same. It's just on a different fret. So I like it right there because I'm in one position. <laughs> so then it solos in C sharp, which that would have to be its own video because there's, you know, kind of an extensive solo there. And then from the solo, it goes back to this riff. So that's all the parts for this video. Um, let's do it from the top. So we start with this funky bend thing. Keep doing that, rile the crowd up. Then we do the power chord riff. Then single note riff. riff again and then there's an end section which we'll cover in another video so that's it <laughs> Was. 
Jazz, thanks again for spending some time with me. I truly, truly appreciate it. Also, thank you to you for subscribing to this channel. And if there's a song you'd like to see, a uh, lesson request, technique, anything like that, go ahead and like this video, leave it in the comments below, and I promise I'll check it out. And I just want to say thanks again. Can't wait to see you real soon. That's it. See you later.